I mean, when, when I think any Moroccan can relate, whenever we rewatch re videos, we always get goosebumps, you get teary-eyed. So it was unbelievable. I think I still feel like it was a dream. All right, uh, my name is Tim Argan. I'm a 21-year-old Moroccan content creator and artist. All right, uh, I started content creating when I was 13 years old. I started posting little vlogs on YouTube that 10 people would watch, eight of them being my mom re-watching the videos. Uh, why I kind of leaned to making football content was because I was addicted to football since being a little kid, and especially as a Moroccan, football's in our blood. Uh, but I played football professionally until the age of 18, and when I got the chance to make two of my dream careers collide, I decided to go for it. Uh, primarily, it's my parents. Both my parents are in media, so that, that's, that's a huge innate inspiration. But otherwise, it's probably the fact that I can document my life and look back on it. You get to document and solidify moments in time. Uh, I began working with FIFA in the Arab Cup, which was uh, held in Qatar, as a content creator solely. And then we kind of evolved uh, in the Club World Cup in Abu Dhabi and then in the World Cup that was also in Qatar. And finally, the Mondialito, the FIFA Club World Cup in Morocco, which was the highlight of it all. A look at the broader aspect, we began planning for the tournament kind of nearly after the World Cup and it was, it was, we still didn't know where it would be held, so we just kind of planned content. But when I knew it was in Morocco, obviously, although I would put in the same effort for another country, I had to add a little touch since I'm Moroccan. So it only made sense to put in a little more and my mom would always uh, text me and call me being like, focus on this content, this is important. It's all been positive. I mean, if you show Morocco to the world, it's going to be a positive response because we don't need to embellish anything. Uh, everything's there for everyone to see. So it's, it's pretty easy to promote Morocco. You don't really have to do much. You just have to show everyone what it really is. Uh, the primary moments was probably the admin travels to Morocco from Qatar, where my passport showed in the airport, the green passport. Yeah, that was unintentional, but it worked for the best and all the Moroccans felt a lot of pride when they saw the green passport on the biggest sporting federation in the world. It was amazing, I mean, as a tournament as a whole, it was amazing and not being in Morocco for four years and coming back to a sporting event, a footballing event, it was beautiful. If only we had uh, made it further, but it was, it was fun while it lasted. It, it was always a dream of mine to go to a Morocco game in general, let alone it being a FIFA World Cup Morocco game. Uh, in 2018, I wanted to go to Russia, but I wasn't able to because I had exams. I think I was 18 years old, something like that, 17. So seeing them in the FIFA Club World Cup 2022 in Qatar and making that historic run was unbelievable. It all felt like a dream and it still does. I mean, when, when I think any Moroccan can relate, whenever we re-watch re videos, we always get goosebumps, you get teary-eyed. So it was unbelievable. I think I still feel like it was a dream. Yes, uh, I stayed in Morocco a little longer than I was meant to after the FIFA Club World Cup because I want to work on a YouTube show that promotes Morocco's tourism from a Moroccan perspective as an expat. So I've lived outside Morocco my whole life, but I'm going to be seeing Morocco as a Moroccan but as a tourist at the same time. So it's going to be called A Tourist at Home on my YouTube channel. Stay tuned. In general, it has to be Messi. Messi is what made me fall in love with football in the first place. Uh, back when he played in Barcelona, which is sad to say. But yeah, definitely Messi. But as a Moroccan footballer, probably Buffal. The magic, the magic he plays on the field definitely inspires me. So I try to, I try to mimic his playing style when I play once in a while. Yeah, uh, being on the pitch as Messi lifted the World Cup on his last, probably his last FIFA World Cup, it was unbelievable. But seeing him in real life, it, I realized he's also just a human. Because in my head it was such, meeting Messi would be something unbelievable. But obviously he's still a legend. Uh, I lean towards we did, but uh, the national team is where my pride lies. My cousins in Morocco, when I was younger, forced me to be a we fan. So they took me to like one or two games. And my favorite color is red, so it only made sense.